hi everybody and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to share my entire perfume collection with you guys it's not a very huge collection but uh, i did decluttered and i did uh, removed uh, some of the empty bottles uh, from my collection so i'm going to share what is left behind with me so let's get started and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to support me just click on that subscribe button so let me start with this one and this is uh, from uh, Viva La Juicy Gold Couture and uh, this is a gourmand fragrance it is really sweet it has notes of caramel and vanilla with some uh, white floral and some woodsy notes as well uh, it is really beautiful and sexy perfume and uh, the only downside uh, to this perfume is that it lasts only half an hour here and uh, yeah that was a gold couture so I don't have any sequence I will just uh, grab what is coming in my hand and so this is uh, Beyonce's heat it's a really inexpensive and beautiful fragrance it is sweet fruity floral a bit powdery and I usually wear this one in summers like these days and as you can see I'm totally out of it and I really like the bottle the bottle is really nice the shape of it and uh, it's really worth uh, the money what you're spending it is an inexpensive perfume and I think they have done a really good job with this one so this was uh, Beyonce's heat so what's next so the next perfume is Aura by Sivorovsky. As you can see, the bottle is really, really pretty. You can see a gemstone over here. I really enjoyed this perfume. It was a musky rose, uh, a bit spicy and powdery fragrance. And uh, for the sake of the bottle only, I'm just keeping it. It is so pretty and uh, feel luxurious as well. So and i don't hear like uh, many people talk about this fragrance and if you spot this one like just give it a try and just see how beautiful and expensive this fragrance smells so my next perfume is serati 1881 this is oldie but a goodie it is so 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 sweet uh, i can say fruity and floral at the same time at some times this fragrance can get really sweet and uh, and can induce headaches as well so i won't wear this perfume in the summer heat because it the heat will make the perfume more sweeter so i use this perfume only in winters like when the temperature is very low and cold so that was serity so this is the perfume if you can see uh, which i would on my wedding day it is so beautiful it is fruity floral citrusy it's fresh it's tropical i don't use it because i only have just a little bit i have just kept it for the sake of memory and i have been trying to find this perfume i have been trying so 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 hard but i cannot get this because this was a limited edition bad for me but it is such a beautiful fragrance and does bring back all the memories of my wedding day so my next perfume is uh, this one amethyst by lalique lalique is a french uh, brand they make all the glassware and i haven't seen people talk much about of uh, regarding their fragrances it's a really beautiful fragrance i feel like this fragrance is a unisex fragrance is um it's a really thick perfume and i only use this perfume in winters it's fruity floral sweet rosy and woodsy as well people who don't like very thick and dense perfumes might not might not enjoy this one but i really love this and i enjoy when i use it so this is angel by terry mugler or these days it's it has changed into mugler only uh this one is so gray which comes in only 50 ml the composition of this fragrance is a red fruit a sorbet with caramelized meringue and as usual patchouli and vanilla it's 
a beautiful fragrance i do love and enjoy most of the fragrance by mugler and uh, as you can see i'm totally out of it and i don't think i will be able to find this again so yeah so this was sucre by mugler so my next fragrance is also by mugler this is mugler's uh Vimanity. and as you can see uh the bottle is really really pretty it's just piece of art and it is a refillable bottle and uh, unfortunately here in Oman we don't have uh, this uh, scent in the in their source what is the uh, the machine in by which they refill their perfumes this perfume is one of the weirdest perfume I have used in my life they have used uh, caviar for this perfume it was really weird it was a bit uh salty sometimes it used to be a uh, sweet uh sometimes i did enjoy it sometimes i didn't so yeah so that was that perfume which i am i'm still not sure uh about it so but i appreciate the chances that uh this house takes uh to create uh unique creations and unique perfumes so my next perfume is C Intense by Giorgio Armani. Uh, this perfume is my happy perfume. It makes me feel happy even if I'm not in a mood like a happy mood. Somehow it makes me happy. This perfume is created so beautifully uh, with the notes of woody, floral, spicy, soft, spicy and aromatic as well. So that was a C Intense by Giorgio Armani. So next on my list is Alien by Terry Mugler or Mugler. If I have to keep like only five fragrances for the rest of my life, uh, this is going to be one of them. I really enjoy this perfume. Uh, it's basically a white floral fragrance which is jasmine and with amber and some woodsy notes in it. The composition is so beautiful and I really, really, really do enjoy this perfume. The whole uh, year, I don't have a time like winter or summers because I this is one of my favorites. So I don't wait for the winters to use it. So that was Alien by Mugler. Certain fragrances I do uh, still keep in the box because I feel uh, they might not go bad though i did not had any experience my fragrances to go bad but uh, some fragrances i still keep like the boxes and some some are like out of their boxes and i've thrown the boxes i would recommend like if you are having like expensive perfumes to keep in the boxes in a very dark uh, in a dark place like in a closet or somewhere where sunlight uh, won't uh, directly falls on the bottle uh for them not to go bad soon so my next fragrance is armani code cashmere uh this is also a really beautiful fragrance this fragrance i have bought uh by the recommendation of jeremy fragrance though the scent is really beautiful uh but the only bummer in this fragrance is that it won't last long really hate the fragrances and they annoy me if they won't last long because fragrances are not cheap to buy a good fragrance you need to have hundred dollars basically it is a white floral fragrance with the nutsy notes of uh, almond it is powdery and it is a bit leathery as well it is so beautiful the fragrance is so 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 beautiful but my only problem with this one is the performance the performance is not very good these two fragrances in my collection which i really love and i really enjoy but they do not perform are these two so that was that So I have the intense version of Burberry body. 
this fragrance is uh, basically a rose fragrance it is a uh, woody it is floral it is musky and i really do enjoy it this fragrance is one of my fragrances which lasts very long on my body and uh, this is also one of my top five fragrances so the next one on my list is again by mugler uh their last year re last year's uh, release angel o crucier this one as you can see uh, recently i have uploaded a review on my channel just take a moment to appreciate this bottle and if you are finding a uh, summer fragrance these days i would highly uh, suggest this one this fragrance is a very 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 unique fragrance with the notes of mango uh, though the dna is the similar dna of uh, their original angel and uh, it, it will remind you like you are going on a vacation like a tropical island you are having a sorbet of like mixed fruits so uh, that will be the situation that this fragrance will take you in i really enjoy this fragrance and it is a new addition in my fragrance collection so this was eau crucier by eau crucier angel or angel eau crucier by mogler so if you're still with me and still watching this video please take a moment and subscribe to my channel that will be a really great and big support for me so the next perfume on my list is this one jimmy chu uh, fever and uh, i still like to keep uh, this one in the box it's a recent addition in my perfume collection it was a gift and i have reviewed this uh, perfume on my channel i will link all the uh, perfume reviews down in the des description below and just look at the bottle of it Tell me, is it not pretty? I am really picky with my fragrances. I don't blind buy my fragrances. I uh, I will test them first, and if I really uh, like uh, fall in love with them, then only I will make a purchase. I will just not jump on the bandwagon like if all are having the same perfume i'm not going to do that i don't own black opium though it's one of the most popular fragrances uh, by the and loved by most of the people but somehow that perfume don't appeal me i really don't know why so <laughs> that is that with me this fragrance is also really really pretty i would uh, say it's a winter fragrance or like uh, more appropriate to be worn in the autumn like in the colder months uh, it's floral sweet aromatic balsamic and i really enjoy it and just see the bottle i'm just looking at the bottle see how beautiful that is so my next fragrance is also by jimmy choo and uh, this is the original one and i keep it in the box yes uh, this is the 60 ml one this is the 60 ml one and uh, i really love their bottles if i have to live with only one perfume for the rest of my life this will be the perfume and this can be my signature scent i love this perfume so 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 much the projection is superb the silage is superb the performance is excellent and I really do enjoy this perfume whenever I wear it. So my next perfume is this one, uh, La Vie Belle uh, by Lancome. I have the Eau de Toilette uh, version. I have a review of this perfume as well on my channel. And just look at this bottle. It is simple and yet so elegant. A woman who loves to smell good and enjoys perfumes must own this perfume in her collection. And this is such a beautiful fragrance and will not let you down it is powdery it is a it is a, it is a powdery fragrance but i whenever i wear it i just feel like so elegant it is like i feel so expensive like i'm wearing a, such an expensive perfume so this was a lavia bell 
my Lancome. So another perfume at the house of Mugler is this one which is called Aura. Uh, just see how beautiful the bottle is. Uh, I do have a complete review of this, fra uh, of this fragrance on my channel and I'm going to link all the perfume reviews down below in the description if you are if you want to go through them so this fragrance is a quite unique fragrance there are mixed reviews regarding this fragrance though i do enjoy it i love it i really do love it it's a i think it is one of the best green fragrances in the market so my next fragrance is this one uh this is dolce gabbana the one uh, this fragrance is also like one of my top five fragrances it's it lasts so long on your body it makes me feel like a very elegant sophisticated woman it is so beautiful it's such a beautiful fragrance and i highly 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 recommend this fragrance to you guys uh if you are finding a fragrance which lasts very long which performs very well and uh, which will make you stand out like from the crowd so the next one in my perfume collection is uh this one uh, good girl by carolina herrera i don't think i have to tell much about this fragrance this is loved by so many uh people it's basically a white floral fragrance it is such a beautiful fragrance i cannot explain it uh it makes you feel like prettier expensive it makes you feel luxurious it makes you feel elegant so if you have not tried it out just sniff it out and uh, i can tell you guys if you blind by this fragrance even you will fall in love with it so this was her good girl by carolina herrera so this is versace bright crystal absolute when i want to wear like a perfume which is like floral uh, fresh i will every time go with this one the performance of this one is also very good and uh, this also comes in my top five because it is such a beautiful scent uh, like for spring and summer season if you have not tried it yet and if or if you are in search of a floral a long lasting and good performing perfume i would recommend versace absolute so this one is a, a flanker of alien which is called flora futura uh, this is a lighter version of alien you can say uh, but it is more floral though alien is also a white floral scent but it it feels somehow more floral lighter uh, people who cannot carry of uh, alien i would recommend this one the performance of this perfume is not very good to be very honest with you guys but it's a lovely scent uh, and it can be a really pretty fragrance for this uh, hot summer season so this was alien flora Futura. though i feel these fragrances are catered uh, more towards like a younger crowd a younger group of people teenagers but i still uh, do enjoy this fragrance it is beautiful it is a really beautiful fragrance it is floral a bit sweet and uh, i do like to wear it in like when i want something floral uh, like fresh i will go for this one and uh, i am in love with the bottles they have i only own uh, these two uh, from viva la juicy this is by Balcari golia the roman knight such a beautiful fragrance makes me feel so sophisticated so i hope that you have liked this video and if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel take very good care of yourselves bye